Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. 2018 is just about wrapped up and I'm going to be heading out of town for Christmas so I really, before I leave, I wanted to make my shave gear of the year video for 2018. It's been a fantastic year. Really, my first whole year that I've been in wet shaving. It's kind of crazy to think that I've only been doing this for... Uh, my YouTube channel has only been around since January, so this is my first entire year of, of being in this community, and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, my year so far. Uh, really enjoyed being a part of this community. You, you are all awesome. So thank you for making it fun. Okay, want to uh, break this down into some categories, and I, I will be tagging some other people in this. However. If I tag you in this, and just anyone who does get tagged in this, um, don't feel like you need to do it in any kind of format. I broke it up a certain way, you can break it up a different way. But I wanted to start out with my pick for Razor of the Year for 2018, and that would have to be this guy right here. This is the Rockwell 6C uh, adjustable razor by, by changing out the base plates, right? in gunmetal. I think it looks gorgeous. I love gunmetal. I wish more razors came in gunmetal, but the performance is great. You can adjust it a little bit. I like most of the settings. Not crazy about setting number one, because um, it's very, very mild, but there's it has its place as well. So, fantastic razor, especially if you're on a budget, and but you want a nice razor, 50 bucks, and really you're getting, what, six razors because of the base plates. Um, so, that would be my pick for razor of best razor of 2018, in my opinion, and and that goes for all these. Is, these are my opinions, right? So don't argue with me. This is this is my opinion. Okay, <laughs> um, and then I, I want to be careful with brushes because I am I am a brush artisan. I make brushes. I'm biased, of course. So I'm going to start out by saying I have some fantastic brushes from other artisans. This one was, was sent to me, um, I won this actually in a, a giveaway from Milton over at Turning Shaves and it is just absolutely stunning. There's his coin and just the blue and silver is just amazing. Ghost knot in there. Great brush. Um, this one's from Colorado Razor Designs. So Scott, thanks for this. And I, I got this in the uh, old Kabaha brush off. It's awesome. I have another one coming from Rich Hansen. There are a lot of great brush makers out there, and they've all been very helpful to me, so thank you to all of you as well. I'm not really going to talk about my brushes, because um, obviously, you know, I, I, I have some, I have more of a connection with my brushes than I have with others. I'm biased. So, I'm going to talk about brush knots, which I do not make. I've never, of course, you know, most brush makers don't make their own knots. Um, but the knot that I have enjoyed the most uh, I've you have it in a couple of my brushes. I've sold it a lot in my Etsy shop. And that would be this guy right here. It's the Crown King Duro. So it's from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. This is a 26 millimeter. I do like the 26 millimeter better, but this thing has really good backbone. Yet it's still very very soft. It's a fantastic brush knot. So that would be my brush knot of 2018. I almost said 2016. Okay, and next is soaps and. I've broken up soaps into soap performance and scent, because that's, that's just two different things. Um, although I do like all of the performance and all of the scents on this, but I'm trying to narrow it down a little bit. So the first one, well, actually these first two for performance, they snuck up on me right toward the end of the year and secured a spot in, in my top performance category, and that would be any of the soaps that are the CK6 formula from Phoenix Shaving, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This stuff, you look at it sideways and it like pff, explodes into lather. This stuff is awesome. This is Doppelganger Ganger Black Label. And the scent's okay, I'm not much of a cologne scent person, but it is a nice cologne scent. I do like it, my wife doesn't like it, so that kind of determines part of it for me. And then this little baggie, um, I was lucky enough to get this. This is the release formula of um, Mammoth Soaps Hugue, if I'm saying that right, I never know if I am, um, from Mammoth Soaps, Ben Esposito, Benjamin Esposito sent me this, and I'm very glad he did, because this stuff is a game changer, it is kind of the same way, it holds a lot of water, so it's really, 
easy, and it's really difficult to ruin. Um, so that would be there for performance. And those two kind of snuck in last minute. This last one has been around, um, in my shave den at least, longer. And it was a game changer for me. It set a new bar for performance in soaps. And that would be Summer Break Soaps. This one's Cannonball, but all of them are, are fantastic performance. Um, the reason I chose this one specifically, it's a really nice scent, but also it has this stuff. Let me see. I always forget what it's called. WS23. It's this, this synthetic cooling agent. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it's synthetic. And it keeps your face cold for a very long time. The stuff lathers up. Like the other ones, it just explodes into lather. And it's fantastic. And then just as an honorable mention, I want to talk about a budget soap that just is amazing. I think I paid four or five dollars for this tub. Um, and I've got a couple at a pretty cheap price. That is Razor Rock. This one is Caribbean Holiday because I also really, really like this scent. It's five ounces, so that's a dollar or less per ounce. And this stuff uh, performs great. Uh, it really, really thick and creamy, uh, slick lather. So those are my choices for performance. There are four of them. I know it's really hard to narrow down because there are so many fantastic soaps out there. Now we're going to move on to scent. My favorite scents of 2018. Again, incredibly hard to narrow down, but I think I have pretty well. And the first one is this guy right here. Snuck up on me again right at the end of the year, but man, this scent is so good. I can't even believe I, I was hopeful for it. It is awesome. It's the vanilla, the nutmeg, and cinnamon, and all that all that stuff that goes into eggnog, but then there's that bay rum in the background, and I really think that I need to try some of, of Douglas's uh, bay rum because I've tried a couple of the variants, and I've liked them both, so it might be the bay rum to make me a, a fan of bay rum. We'll see. Um, so that one is just fantastic. I love vanilla, so it had to be in there. And then this next one is not a, it's one of the very few soaps that I just absolutely love the scent of that isn't a gourmand scent. Mostly I love the gourmand scents. This one's not. Um, it's the only one on this list that's not a gourmand scent, and that is History 101. Um, it was it was pretty close between this and Tombstone from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, but this one edged it out. Oh, man, this stuff smells so good. Um, it it's it's tobacco, leather, and gunpowder and some other stuff, but whew, this stuff smells so good. It had to be on my favorite scent list. Like I said, Tombstone is very similar, but this one just edged it out by by a small margin. And performance on these are all, all great as well. And then the last one, and this has been my favorite scent since last Christmas. And I don't use it too often because I want this to last a long time. Um, and that is Katie's Bubbles Saturday Morning. This stuff is absolutely fantastic and nostalgic. And that's a lot of what it is for me. Um, I really like scents that are nostalgic, and this one absolutely is. Just like Fruit Loops, or in my case, probably I relate it more to, to the uh, Malta Mill brand, whatever you call those, uh, I don't know, Tutti Fruities or something like that. Um, that's what my daughter calls it. Um, that's her favorite scent as well. So, Katie's Bubbles, also great performance, a little bit goes a really long way, and it's just fantastic stuff. So, Saturday morning has to be my, my number one choice for scent for... Uh, shape soaps. Okay, now um, the last thing that really that I have is aftershave. I have a splash and I have a balm. And you guys probably already know, Skin Bracer. This stuff is absolutely great. One of the things I base it on is co the cold feeling from the sh after the shave. And this stuff gets fairly cold, and I love the scent. It's amazing. Kind of a vanilla, powdery, um, almost minty scent, although it might just be the color that makes me think minty. 
I'm really not sure. I can't place my finger on it, but it's a fantastic scent. And then, um, as far as a balm goes, I guess this qualifies as a balm. Um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Star Jelly. This one's Organism 46B, but I have also Space Nog. Um, both great, and I really just like that it's a balm that isn't super greasy, and it still has kind of that alcohol sting. It's almost like a hand sanitizer for your face that smells really good and moisturizes. It's, it's awesome stuff. So that has to be it for my aftershaves. So, which I think just about wraps it up for me. Um, we are going to do Mrs. Craving Shavings picks. And my wife has, has kind of gotten into this whole wet shaving thing. She, re she likes the soaps. And I finally found a razor that she really likes. And her pick for razor would be this. This is the leaf razor. She really likes it. Uh, it's great for application for what she uses it for, which is, you know, shaving her legs and things. Um, so there's that one for her razor. And then she picked out two soaps. I don't think she really cares too much about the performance. They're all about the same to her. Um, usually, I lather them up for her a lot of the times, too. Um, but uh, Lather Bros Takeout Night, just a little sample. She really likes that. And then the other one's actually a sample, too. Sterling Satsuma. So Takeout Night's kind of a lemongrass. Satsuma's a really bright orange-type scent. Or Satsuma, I guess. I never had a Satsuma. Um, but those were her choices for those. Um, and I think that's just about it. So, thank you so much, especially uh, to those of you who have been watching this this year, and to new subscribers here toward the end of the year. Uh, thank you so much for coming with me on this on this uh, craving shaving journey. Um, I do want to tag a couple people. Those of you that I tag feel no obligation to do this video if you want. This is just you know if this is something you want to do. But I would love to hear from Scott Rollins, who tagged me in a, a tagged video just a little bit ago. I'd love to hear your Shave Gear of the Year. Um, he's only been around in this for uh, not very long, a couple months, but he's already got some good stuff, and I'd love to see what your Shave Gear of the Year is so far. And then the other person I'd really like to hear from is Chris Madden at Another Cut Above. I'd love to hear your Shave Gear of the Year. Again, no pressure, you guys. Uh, I think Scott will have no problem, um, but I haven't talked to Chris about it, and I don't know what he's got going on. So. Um, no, no pressure at all, but uh, I'd love to, to hear from those two. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in for this Craving Shaving. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas, uh, happy holiday, and happy new year, and hope you have great shaves in 2019. Thanks, we'll see ya.